another cool, crisp morning on the Wilderstead today. But hey, at least the sun's shining. Today, we're gonna fire up the solar power in the greenhouse. It's a rather simple setup. We have a thousand watt power inverter, a 30 amp, 12 volt charge controller, two 60 amp hour deep cycle marine batteries that will be hooked up in parallel, a temperature sensitive switch for our fans, and of course, the solar panels. Right now, I have two 100 watt solar panels set up just on a temporary rack outside. These will go on the roof of the greenhouse. The roof is not finished yet and I'm not going to go to the effort of putting up all of the panels only to have to take them down when we finish up the roof in the spring. And there will be four for a total of 400 watts. The wood stove has been awesome in here. We're just running a heat activated eco fan. Currently, we're not keeping the stove going overnight. There's just no need to right now. There's no plants in here. Once we fire up the wood stove to start working in here, things warm up very quickly. The snow melts off the roof in just a matter of a few minutes. You can see it's about 19, 20 degrees Celsius in here. This thermometer is at chest height. But if you look up here near the top of the greenhouse, it's much warmer. So I wanna move this air from up here down below because it is still quite cold down on the ground here. If I put a thermometer down here, I bet it'd be 10, five to 10 degrees Celsius. Rather than bore you guys with drilling holes and pulling wires, let's just get to the nitty gritty of this setup now that it's up and running. This is the battery box. It's currently inside the greenhouse. I may move this outside in the spring or summer once I can build a nice insulated little box for it. I'll tidy up all the wiring very soon. It's just roughed in right now. This is venting outside, and that just exhausts right out here directly behind the box on the back north side of the greenhouse. Just in case the batteries start overcharging, which probably won't happen with the charge controller, but just in case, so any vapors, gases can just leave through that hole. The inverter is all hooked up now, mounted on the wall. This runs down into the battery box. Okay, the temperature sensitive switch. I'm just gonna get this plug out of the way for a second here. So basically the way that this works is you can either run on hot or on cool. I've got it set for hot because I want this to come on when it's hot up in the ceiling here. This little dial, you just turn this and it'll basically, it'll cause whatever is plugged in to turn on at a set temperature, which is the fan right there. I'll turn this on. It is going to get a little bit loud because everything is hooked up and running. So you can see how loud the inverter is. This is easy enough to get around if you don't want to listen to it. Radio. Turn your radio on. Find yourself a station. Well, isn't that neat? This little tiny radio is pulling in tunes all the way from the Pacific Northwest. That is awesome! This is a very basic charge controller. Not something you'd be running your house or anything like that off, but for our simple needs out here, this thing is perfect. Batteries are currently sitting at around 13.7, all the way up to 14 volts. Drawing in 3.9 amps currently, 4 amps. It's later in the day right now, so the sun's at a, at a lower level. Earlier I was pulling in 8.6 amps. You can also just turn this off with a little switch so that you're not drawing any extra energy with this little LED screen here. You can even run some small power tools off this if you want to. Anyways folks, that's a little overview of the solar system that we have running now. I have a little snack cooking up on the wood stove here. It smells really tasty. I'd like to eat it. And that I'm going to do. See ya.